I'm uh, Gardo Fasalo, owner of the brand uh, Nemen, designer too. Uh, we started in 2012. Started in 2004 my career after the graduation in uh, European Institute of Design in Milan. I was very lucky because I had one of the teacher was uh, Carlo Rivetti, owner of the brand uh, uh, Stone Island. Working with him was very stimulating and also gave me the chance to understand which direction I want to give to my design. Years after years, Neman changed a bit in terms of um, inspiration, in terms of fabric, but keeping the same DNA since the very beginning. At this stage, maybe we're more industrial driven in terms of uh, uh, aesthetic and uh, fabric research, so we're trying to keep the best from uh, textile uh, industrial application and it's very interesting and stimulating how we're trying to uh, combine this content with the artisanal approach in the making, so handmade treatment on top of really uh, technical industrial fabrics. And this is going to be probably the, uh, the development of the brand in the, in the next years. The, the archive has a huge importance in what we are doing. It's a collection of uh, samples um, I bought from the market sometimes, uh, from vintage store or um, uh, some, something I found on flea market. It's really, it's really important for us. This as a sort of inspiration. A good example is something we did for the guard jacket. We start from this flame retardant silver lamination that was uh, useful for foundries, protective garments. We just changed the application of the lamination. Here is to protect from flame and reflect the flame but the same characteristics are good to reflect the body heating as a thermal cover. So the combination of uh, industrial uh, lamination with uh, our nice quality nylon outside plus the handmade treatment really express what Nemen is. Almost everyone can feel if a garment has a soul, has a story, even without knowing about uh, you know, the dyeing process. And there is a lo lot of science also, because uh, once you talk about dyes, you are talking about chemical, you are talking about temperature, you are talking about pH of water, and also the fabric construction, the fiber, it's more related to the science than art. Also, we can achieve some really nice shade of colors, almost impossible to achieve in other ways. I mean, for, me, for myself and for my generation, the word sportswear seems now is getting to a new word called techwear, but for us it's still sportswear. So we're trying to keep the best from the sport in terms of functionality, combining with utilitarian or um, military-inspired uh, uh, fabrication, combining in uh, new things that can be useful for sport, but also for day life. So it's a kind of story when, when we build the jacket until, or a pant or a product until the very end, you never know how it's going to look like, uh, but we are trying to control as much as possible all the, uh, the possibility to achieve the the perfect, uh, the perfect goal. Creating a conflict uh, with the science, but using the science to achieve an artistic level.